Welcome to the Rotation Show, guys. I'm Alex, What's here with up? AJ. How you doing? And we've got our special guest here, Ted from Alien Labs. What up? What's up? So you guys thanks know him on... Uh... Thanks for letting me be here. Oh, of no. Of Fuck thanks yeah. For, uh, thanks being for here. coming, man. We yeah, really no problem, appreciate man. I love doing through. podcasts. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of shit to talk about. Always. And I just like... Actually, I don't like talking to people too much, but... If I like the person, I would don't shut up. That's pretty much where I'm at in life. We've been chatting. There yeah, you yeah, go. For sure. We already got all the good content out of the way, all the juicy stuff. I know. Yeah. Might come back. Yeah, we'll we got to. Someone's got to drop it. Yeah. Good shit. Well, man, you know, thanks again. Yeah, thanks for being here. We're really stoked yeah. to have you. I mean, obviously, yourself. I mean, you're just such a big figure. Um, Prominent. Thing. Yeah, yeah in, in the cannabis industry. I mean. There's a very few people that don't know who you are, or don't know of you. So I think that's awesome. And we just really want to get to know more about you. Yeah. Like, yeah learn man, about fucking that. Ted. Yeah, for sure. Let people know, you know, what's the good story hasn't been told of me too much. I'm not really like too crazy about talking about myself. Like I'll go off on the weed and how we got to where we went. But as far as just like me is concerned, I don't think I think there's a lot to be told about that. You well, know? let's let's start with that, man. Let's um, let's get a little behind the scenes of the guy behind the brand. Uh, where are you from, man? Uh, I'm from Redding, California, which is about two and a half hours north, maybe three hours north of Roseville. Nice. Um, two and a half hours north of Sac. Uh, I when I turned 18, I moved to San Francisco, and that's where I feel like I kind of grew up because it's like when you're a kid, you know, whatever. It's the different. city will grow you up fast. Yeah, too, and man. that's oh, when yeah. I was like learning about things that like i didn't know before just like as far as like politically and just humans and you know shit like that so i was definitely in i moved the first place i moved was the castro yeah. so it was like district real fast uh yep. real fast difference from from a uh, reading i remember my friends coming to me being like bro you cannot say shit like that here <laughs> no. like you're in a different place bro. yeah different you spot. know and i'm 35 so this is shit like you know 17 years ago mm -hmm. i guess um and they're touchy. Life was a little different, touchy but they were there. they were very progressive in San Francisco, so they were already on all this like, don't say shit, shit. You yeah, know? Right. for sure. Which I mean, they, you should already know, but dude, when you come from Reading, it's like so much different there. It's so much different there. Like they looked at you funny for wearing a mask. That's yeah. the oh, best yeah. way to explain it. Yeah, like, I went there and I put on my mask, and my buddy was like, "Bro, you might want to take that off." I'm like, "Really? Shit." Like, we don't do that around it's here. Like, yeah, it's like going to Kentucky and here, they're boy. smoking cigarettes in the Denny's, you know? It's <laughs> yeah, like, it's just some weird shit that's just that's still going on. That's kind of a vibe, on. though, bro. Smoking yeah. cigarettes in Denny's. Like, I know. Like, I, whatever. I, 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 I kind of miss that shit. doesn't happen as often anymore. Only no. when you go to the casinos or something like that. I went somewhere recently. I feel like they were smoking inside, and I was like, damn, that's Thunder Valley, crazy. bro. Of yeah, all the no, casinos? it was in Detroit. That's where it was. Oh, Detroit. It was a casino, though. Yeah, yeah. I stayed at a casino. I'm like, damn. I can I Cigarettes... It's crazy because I used to smoke so many blunts, and now if I smell a cigarette, if I smell a cigarette, I'm like, that is so gross, dude. Yeah. So take us back to San Francisco. Yeah. 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 You were because I'm Sorry. dying to know. We've got we, we went from Reading. That's where we were. San we're Fran. in San Francisco. Right, yeah. San Fran. And we talked crypto about kids, and but we go back. Yeah, I was in San Fran, just fucking. Actually, I was kind of depressed when I lived in San Francisco. It was weird. I think it was like the first time I ever moved from my home, you know? So it was like yeah. weird. I didn't feel like I had friends and shit. Um, so I think like I don't – I didn't make the most of my time there. But I learned a lot. Like I fucking matured. I feel like I learned a lot about what my, you know, political beliefs are. And that's like a weird thing because like all my friends from writing are like conservative. Yeah. Like red pillars, I call them. <laughs> Anti-maskers. I'm like super progressive. Oh, like, that's awesome. you know, I'm like, yeah. And it's cuz I come from a poor family. Like my mom was poor, my mom was poor. She did she definitely got me like the sick ass new console every time it came out somehow, but she was poor, you know. Yeah. And uh I just remember what it was like to be poor. You know, and that's like something that I think people forget about when they get money. Oh yeah. I'm always scared that I'm going to be broke. Again, absolutely. No matter how much money I have, like, I'm always scared that I'm going to be that's broke. That's what keeps the fire pushing. Exactly, dude. Yep. And it's like, it's like you don't. I see it, dude. Like you can see it in people. Like a lot in musicians. Like early musician work is always better because yeah. they get rich and they don't give a fuck. Yeah. yeah. And they don't. It's like interesting how you can forget how you used to feel and shit. And I just try to remember it. That's why, like, I never really have leaned into, like, like, you see guys get fucking 10,000 followers on Instagram and, like, lean into, like, the fucking stupid influencer shit. Yeah. And I never did that. I never will. 
They get lost sometimes. They'll come back. Yeah, I mean, it's fine, dude. Do whatever you want. <laughs> when you say it like that, and I'm stoned, I'm like, yeah, okay, well, now I feel like a dick. Yeah, now I feel like an asshole. <laughs> but it's true, though. You know, it's like, bro, you can't get popping. Like, that's not no. just being popular on the internet. That's not really that cool. No, like, I know? think at this be, point. Be, be cool, and then, like, be cool, yeah. Yeah, you need to be chill. <laughs> yeah, like, have something going on. Like, don't just show me, like, I don't know. Like, it's just that whole influencer <laughs> fake shit right now. Like, have you seen... Uh, yeah, man, they, there's this show on Netflix, it's a reality show, and it's like taking people from like hell little followers to like a lot. It realistically, like in the course of like a week or something. Oh shit! And they were just like doing the craziest shit. Like there's places in LA where you can rent like a room for like a half hour that's like looks like a private jet. Oh, so wow. you can go sit on the shit <laughs> oh, and take God. like pictures and then post them on your fucking social oh, media. Oh shit! Wait, how much is that? Because the next know, podcast. Right? It should be in there. <laughs> I mean, uh, we'll just rent a private jet. We'll rent a Actually, private. We'll be that's on a, a private sick jet. Fucking idea for a fucking podcast, though. Like the studio is the inside of a private jet. That would be pretty. See, sick. but those but you- those guys are are getting a mini taste of fame. <coughs> that's what it is, and you get a lot of attention, and and everybody's about that attention right now. Yeah, but that's and I know that's pushing, exactly the problem. Pushing I think, fakeness. I, I I agree, bro. But um, even though I am gonna be a hypocrite because I like Instagram, I, do too. I think that Instagram it probably wasn't the best thing, or Instagram, Facebook, social media, definitely not like for human. Oh yeah, human kind. It's fucked. You know what I mean, I fucked so, the world up. Media yeah, fucked our world does. up. Too, Dude, I was just reading this article about how like While algorithms. Film me mm, a podcast. Fire, algorithms uh, like have like show. fucked up the way humans think. Yeah. Like think how many different flavors of Oreo there are. Oh yeah. Instead of there's too many now. Instead bro. of just like somebody coming out with a new fucking product. Yeah. yeah. And then we're just getting endlessly served all this shit, and like no one's even like making any new shit anymore because <laughs> they just got us tricked into like this cycle of liking shit. Yeah. The you know, there's no innovation gone. Buying yeah. and liking. Buying, buying, buying liking. liking. Mm-hmm. Fuck. Like, there's no innovation anymore, dude. <clears throat> that's why I get Puff excited Puff is the about... last, like, innovative thing. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what's <laughs> no. cool that's is cool. when you see people doing stuff like that, that's what I think gives gives me hope. You know, like, shit, there's still people out there trying to push that. Yeah. You yeah. know, in different ways. But yeah, it, there it is, for sure, a few. It has gone away. You know, there's... We've been com- we've become really complacent with just anything. Fast and the Furious Nine. Yeah, oh, I loved nine, one, dude. but wow. three was great. After seven, was great. <laughs> or or Tokyo wherever Drift was sick. Tyrese came in. That going. was fun. That and was then, Tokyo Drift. Oh no, that was number two. Yeah. You know what? They still made a lot of money. Fuck, they still are. Fuck I'm sure there's gonna be another problem. one. That's yeah. the problem. <laughs> They've got every because man. they just got you hooked into the fucking cycle, bro. It's they follow the money and they build towards it. Yeah. Instead of like and the back algorithm in the, is taking you just, to the money. Just imagine back <coughs> in the day, like <coughs> fucking ben, the inventors like Ben Franklin, like to invent, you know, or or to discover electricity, bro, like. What the fuck? Yeah, you know, I Where have are this those theory. guys at? Like, bro. Well, that's Elon. That you so would say no, Elon Musk or, or uh, the uh, the Graham dude that invented the telephone? Yeah. Alex William like, Graham Bell. That is. is that, so or Alexander Graham Bell? It's close enough. Yeah. <laughs> William Alexander Graham Bell. I said Graham, so I didn't <laughs> fuck it up. Yeah. You know. Dude, but, I think that, like, only the only cool sh- I think that people didn't make cool shit for money. Right. Like, and like at a certain t- moment, like I never made Alien Labs like f- for money. Right. To help humankind. No, not even that. But it was like to make something <laughs> cool nice. with my friends. That was very yeah, That was kind, very right? sweet. But that it was, was like sweet. to make something cool. Yeah. yeah. That like other people thought was cool. And yeah. like, like make something legendary. That was it. Like the minute you start making shit for money, bro, you, it takes you down paths that like it. The shit isn't cool. The yeah. Not in it no more. Yeah, like I don't think guys like, and maybe I'm fucking super off, but like I don't think Bill Gates set out to make Microsoft to be like the world's richest man. No. no. I think he just liked doing the shit and he wanted to make something cool. Yeah. You no, know, they wanted to. They they were so into computers and they were wanting to make the coolest computer. It was a competition. Yeah, exactly. Between who can make this shit cooler? Yeah, and, and then all of them got into it, and then they <clears> then <throat> it, at a certain point, of course, it becomes about the money. Money oh, yeah. came and money came. Hard. Yeah, but like, dude, people don't really set. I mean, like, I my frame of mind was like Benjamin Franklin. 
Like, I don't think he was like, I'm going to try and make this shit so I can make hella money. Right. He wasn't. He no, was fuck no. He was just and curious and he wanted to see what was going on, all the shit. Knew there yeah. was more out there, too. Yeah, for know? sure. But we and, do have a lot of shit to be thankful for. Yeah, man. Uh, for sure. Like video capitalism. games that we fucking, <clears throat> you know? Video games. I wonder they, about that. I bet the guy was just like, I like doing this coding. Cl- clear just ass do it. TV, Yeah. Clear ass TV. And he was like, oh shit, but I have no clue. I could be wrong. But, shit. yeah, man. Yeah, I love clear ass TVs. I know. Mm-hmm. That's true as fuck. But other it than is. those, other than those, man, invent something cool, somebody. It's somebody. just like no one's. Know, iter- it's all just like iterations now. Yeah, variation. Hey, step one, two. Well, iPhone so, even fuck. We're on iPhone, what? iPhone. So on this though, fuck would yeah, you dude. guys pay to go to space? Fuck yeah, dude. You would pay to space you would camp, do it? bro. We're doing a loyalty program for <clears> Alien Labs, <throat> where if you get the right amount of points, you can go uh, to space. No, no way. way. For sure. What do I sign up? Dope. Yeah, it's rolling out on the packaging. Dude, that is yeah. see. dope. You got to collect a Dude. lot of points, my boys. But, hey. uh, shit. What are they, how you do you collect points? You spend a couple billion bucks on fucking Alien Labs, bro. We'll send you to space. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> shit. Fuck. I know, you know some people that might buy be Buy a billion eighths, dude. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> I'm, I'm fucking 40 billion richer, and you, I'll send you to space for 40 billion. Hell yeah. I think they're I like charging the like 24 yeah. million, Easy. man. 80 bucks an eighth. That's not bad. <laughs> I we'll chip that, away. Yeah, <laughs> we can do I this. Think they're charging like twenty four million. That's how. Is that's that it? it. Yeah. That's it. Like Done. That, right? We that's can do it. a GoFundMe to send somebody to space at that point. Bro, we're going loyalty program. Connect enough points. Alien lab jars. Go to space. Right. Done. That's yes. cheap. Are you sure? Twenty four million. I think so. That's no, bro. I think that's probably right. That ain't shit. Yeah, not Dude, to, to go to space. There's another bro. Billion. Some some very the, smart kid could go and figure this out where he just buys like all the Alien Labs weed. Probably sells it. Yeah. Sells it, gets the points, yeah. makes enough to go to space. So there's this other dude. Come he's a billionaire from like Asia, and he paid, uh, I think, Virgin or one of them that is racing to get people into space yeah. on this thing. He paid for one trip, and he put out a... Um, a like not a raffle but a, a something like yeah, that I think you guys I saw are doing this too. Yeah. and he would uh he gets like 10 or 15 people that are going with him so he wants these he wants to like pretty much comb through all the applications and then select his 15 dude bro i'm going to fucking space cool, dude. space dude pretty for cool. sure and we got space camp coming up i can't really talk about that but we're doing a lot of space stuff that's cool that's cool fuck fitting so is elon musk man yeah shout out to elon musk see that i was thinking about him i don't think he Maybe he did, but I don't think he started Tesla to make money. No. You know what? I, to fix a problem. Dude. Yeah. And you know what he's done, too? I don't know if you guys know this, but I heard this, and I, I think I even researched it at the time and was verified. If you guys can double-check, fact-check me on this. Uh, Jamie, yeah. You got us? Dev. Yeah, you guys. Dev and Dev, bro. Can you check that out Okay, so basically what I heard was his technology for Tesla, like the batteries and everything, he just basically made, like, open to anyone to use all the competitors so yes. he was like hey here's how the battery works here's how like i've developed it blah 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 and gave it to like ford nissan whoever the fuck wanted it nice not and he could easily hoarded that information you know, it's all this proprietary shit right. but he's like well if i want to try to get as many of these electric vehicles on the road as I can, and they can't all possibly just be Teslas right now. I need right. to. It's kind of crazy that's because crazy. he's kind of open competition, true, but gave. Trying but he's like fucking. Impact. Yeah, it wasn't about the money for that, but yeah, he's he's really just. That's insane. how the growers were. I mean, <laughs> that's not how the growers yeah. were. But back in the day, like the growers shared hella information. Yeah, and then at like right. a certain point, and it's like really right when exotics came about, everyone started being like, "Oh, hush, I'm not hush. telling you." Yeah, it's like not open anymore because yeah man that's just what money will do yeah. so i think i think it's really because when wreck market hit everybody started racing to the top yeah and it was so fast dude everything happened really fast once that uh once that bill went through man every every single company started buying every other big uh, a little company buying licenses yep. uh, all the dispensaries started moving growing doing all this you know like it started becoming a yeah. race to the top and i think that that's what what um you're talking about earlier of the, all the conflict and shit and and people not caring about each other I think everybody was yeah, just the looking, looking forward, trying to mm-hmm. get there while dealing with the city, the state, 
the county whatever. That's probably why I do it. I'm like, huh, well, it's all good, man. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. That's what opened up all their patents to people. That's badass. Damn. 2015, 2015. Tesla opened up all their patents. Tesla to people. That's couldn't. I mean, that's if crazy. they hogged it to themselves, he wouldn't have made as big of an impact. Yeah. yeah who, out, who does you that? You get the impact. You know, nobody these days. Somebody with a billion bucks. Yeah, it was cr- Yeah, for sure, man. That shit's crazy. That's really crazy. His story is pretty nuts. If you think, cool I think he's got some crazy like people hate that dude. He's I a, know, but tough, you know he's what? He's a tough boss, just like Steve Jobs. But they get the job done. I don't get it. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I don't know why you hate on him because you I know, think hate, people hate him because he's so rich, and they're just like, "Fuck this dude saying shit." There's that. Yeah, he's so I rich. get that, but it's not like he's rich and undeserving of his riches. I mean, this guy didn't want to <laughs> be rich. I think some people like believe that anyone that's that rich is undeserving of it no matter what they did understandable yeah which no i mean i don't know if i do i don't know if i've crossed that bridge yet but like well if you make if you do shit bro you should be like compensated for it yeah there's a lot of people that are like i've gotten dms that people are like you guys should give your business to them all the employees like why (laughs) like i get why though i just say that because i'm a dick but you know i get it i get what they're saying but it's like bro that's not that so just denies the reality of like what a business is and how it takes to it won't work that way it's a beautiful beautiful you know utopian idea idea, that's what it is for sure and 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 as a business owner i could say this and you probably feel this way man if there was a way to do that where it just made sense. It was fair. Yeah, it was fair. But the reality is, as business owners too, just you know, and we, I've been an employee plenty of times. The risk. Yeah, there's yeah, so many oh, yeah. risks. We put up the money. And the hard part. Yeah, you know, we I've been sued so many times. The paperwork. Backwards, paperwork. you know. For sure, fuck the paperwork. And if any of my employees are like, "Hey, I'll, I'll ask them. Hey, you want to take these lawsuits off my back? You yeah. want to be the one on, on oh, the table no. for these? Yeah. Hell no, keep it." Do you know, it's stressful. It's do you a stressful want to job. Not be able to sleep because some stupid fucking people issue? still don't understand any of these things. Yeah, I'm like, bro, that. It, what do you think, man? You clock yeah. out, man. You can leave. Yeah. You clock out. <laughs> I can't leave. Yeah, <laughs> I'm stuck. This. Yeah, oh, you know, I'm in this forever. Yeah, like I'd love here. to leave. I can't yeah. sleep at night sometimes. You know. Yeah. I mean, not just because of worrying, but just because of all the shit you got to deal with. Your brain just doesn't turn off. It's never ending. Yeah, you know, and it's like, okay, you want to own this shit? Well, how do you split up the fucking that? How do you split that up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? Oh, yeah. But, I mean, that people say, like, I've seen this argument made, like, oh, well, they worry, too. Like, bro, you can leave. Yeah. You know? Oh, I don't know. I think, I think it's just all about having, like, if you have an environment, right, that people love being in that environment, it's a healthy environment, you're doing cool shit, you're evolving. There's something for them to be a part of. Fuck, that's amazing. Good yeah. luck finding yeah. that anywhere, just in general, it, right? Like yep. that's hard to find in in a place. It's mostly found in weed companies. I tell you, I tell you that much. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That so, culture is very we prevalent have a in weed. Really cool Good culture, worker culture. Dude. I completely yeah. agree. You got really grinder ass potheads out there that they smoke to function They're and they just go all it. day long. And they get, they get. The industry in general has like high pay and like benefits. Yeah. And that's like something that, you know, that's most, really, really <laughs> that's very rare. Yeah. It's yeah. cool. It's an industry with money. That's for sure. And everybody's getting compensated. Where is the money, though? You know, oh, I know where it is. It's in all my tax. Account. Yeah. yeah in my sure. tax account. Sack. I'm not getting rich. This shit ain't lucrative. No. no. I'll be, you know what? I drive up and tell no. them, like, look, people just. Oh, cannabis? You have a delivery service? Oh, you're rich. And I'm like, <clears throat> so I have a 2010 Toyota Camry <laughs> with like 200,000 miles. Mm. And uh, no, I'm not rich. And I'm pretty much broke. I wish I was rich. Uh, yeah. That's what I wish. But, you know, the thing is, I don't care because I'm going to keep grinding it out. You know, the thing is, it's at the end of the day, when you, you pay employees, you've got taxes. More money you make, the more taxes the you more pay. The yeah. tax I you was pay so blown life. away by the first time I got like a big salary, and I was like, "You mean to tell me they take like forty yeah. percent? That's insane." Yeah. yeah, it is, bro. So it when is. you're working, you just know half of the work that you're doing pretty much right just wipe it out. Yeah, right. 
you know i'm damn lucky i made all my money like in the good days you know yeah <laughs> yeah that's the thing it's just getting legal harder market and harder shit no nothing on bring, the legal market bring back the medical market yeah for sure <laughs> But I mean, that's just how you. That's the trade off, right? Yeah. Like it doesn't make shit right now, but like, damn, the the end goal is like Build more than brand. you could ever imagine. Yeah. You know. Absolutely. It's it's a, you know, it's all about just perseverance and just keep grinding through every yeah. day, and and I, it's worth it. It's fun being in this in this yeah, environment. Like, it's, where it's else not, can you be doing this for work? You know, yeah, or what? Totally. You know, you would consider like shit. This is. A dream, like for me at least. One of my boys is just talking everybody. to me about that. It's he t- he, he sure. worked at a pretty sick, what anyone would think is a cool company, like in a different world, you know. And uh, he's like, yeah, I was just at the bar with some buddies, and they were just complaining about how much their job sucks. I'm like, oh, yeah, and meanwhile, we could pull out giant bongs on Zoom calls and fucking just roast the whole thing, you know? <laughs> yeah. Dude, seriously, that's yeah. fucking every, amazing. But, mostly everybody in the industry smokes. And they like when you deal with reps and everybody. Yeah, a lot of people. At they, that level, and mine, not so true, to be okay. fair. But, like, at this, like, we're a different fucking breed, dude. And, like. You get to the point where we're, you know, we're getting close to what anyone would probably consider corporate. People don't corporate. The whole thing where corporate takes over was like not really corporate takeover, right? Not really what is actually happening. What actually is happening is like the businesses you know and love like are becoming corporate, but it's not like for any bad reasons. Obviously, you can see with us like we keep it pretty legit. But man, when you start making a few hundred million dollars a year, like Things corporate is what you are yeah, yeah. you Absolutely. know what i mean like you can't there's make, no getting around you there's no getting to. around it. yeah you know what there i mean there has so, to be structure yo there's there a, has to be yeah. or else yeah. you just uh, it, you, you can't do it you no, cannot you scale exist. a company like this without that no right so it's it's kind of like what i think of as like corporate from the inside out is what people are actually getting you know yeah. no corporate brand is ever going to come to california and take uh my spot no. right no no you way. know, and that's been proven already. A For lot of sure, big companies not. have tried to come out and do mass, uh, mass releases and mass grows and flop. Oh yeah, for they sure. Flop. Even that, but I just meant like as far as because there's certain people that hold like the knowledge and like set what exotics are and all these different things. Like mm-hmm. you can't replicate the authenticity that those people bring, you know, right. to to True. this industry. So no one's ever, there's never going to be, maybe these guys can make revenue and like, you know, whatever, but there's never going to be like, when we talk about, oh, California weed. Yeah. No one's ever going to come and make that. No. You know? Yeah. You can't mimic it. No, you that's can't. That's for sure. So that's what's like cool about this industry, but it it is just kind of like, it goes with the territory of being that, that big dog, you know? Yeah. That's and fucking wild. When the higher you get, the more people pull at you. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's, it's and I know dude. things. The government wants you to have stuff. HR. Yeah. Oh, know, yeah. Shit. Like, oh, it just, God. all that shit just comes along with it. Yeah. I joke with my friends. I mean, I probably shouldn't even say this, but I'm like, you know what's going to get me fired? <laughs> <laughs> For shit. my own company. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's oh, yeah, when you go movie. corporate. It's a yeah. movie. And it's yeah. not even, I don't even mean that, like, in a, like, a stranger male, female way. <laughs> I mean, like, just my mouth, dude. Yeah, I could just sit on Zoom calls and just saying the dumbest shit when there's people in the room. It's just like, I'm not used to this. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not used to having to watch what I say. Like, yeah. I still don't. You know what I mean? But, like, I'm also, like, 35, and I'm, like, just, you know, I lived through those the good old days. So. Speaking yeah. as like common shit. as you can. Yeah, man. that's like, exactly like, right. Just trying to be you. For sure. So Take me back to... I'm going to bring us back because I got a little stoned in this last round. I love bringing it back. Bring it back to. Uh, it was after. We were in, okay, no, I got this. You were in San Francisco. Shit. You moved away from home for the oh, first yeah. time. I was a little depressed. A little depressed. Yeah. Is that where we were? I yeah, think that's fuck. where we were. I don't know what. I, I made the most of it. I liked. I mean, I ended up loving it. I would take the bus places and just like look at people. <laughs> it was so strange. Were you living like, like in downtown or right uh, outside I the city? I started in. Uh, Noe Valley, like right on the outside of the Castro, and oh, then yeah. I moved to Mission Third, which is like right in the middle of downtown. Yeah. Nice. Um, and then I lived there for a while, and then I moved to Sac. I got a house in Sac. I was just like tired of living in the city. And that's when I got a job at All About Wellness, and I started as a door guy, worked my way up to like a manager. That's nice. wild. And, uh, I did not nice. know that. Yeah, Shout out to All About tender. Wellness. We love that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Shout out to them. Shout out to John Day. We love yeah, that shout guy. Shout out to my boy John. 
He definitely yeah. took his first hash oil dabs at my house <laughs> Hell that yeah. I moved to straight from San Francisco. Um, and then I moved back to Reading, and I just, like, started – my boy actually had a cannabis club. It was called Medicali, and uh, I started working there, managing it. And I uh, started growing weed and just, like, learning more about it. They are growing – Indoor, I mean, like, because when I was in San Francisco, I just saw, like, how the weed wasn't good. Yeah. It was right. like, oh, this shit is, this shit sucks. Mm-hmm. $65 an eighth. <laughs> yeah. Like, easy, easy finesse into that, yeah. you know? So, um, I still was, like, networking while I was there. I'd go to Hello Clubs, and, you know, I fucking love the retail experience of weed. I still do. What yeah. year was this? <clears throat> shit, like, 2004 to, like, okay. 2000 nine or ten yeah 2010 what year did you move to sac 2010 okay and then i was i went back to writing in 2012 and i got back here again in 2017 nice Damn. yeah um so yeah the weed sucked it was all like <laughs> this shit sucks but and the stores were like coming about but they weren't really like there yet right but they were gonna be and you could tell you know like yeah. this was gonna be like a thing and it's just first in san francisco that was it you know, it was going to be everywhere. Yeah. And so I went back to Reading and just. San Fran had a lot of clubs. Fuck yeah. When they were the first clubs. Everyone else, Oakland, everyone yeah. else yeah. didn't yeah. have it. Yeah. San Fran and Oakland mm-hmm. had it. They yeah. had a lot. Sure. We used to go down there. At, me and my brother Bubs. We used to go down there and, and score from the from the clubs. Oh yeah. And there were so many options, and you could even smoke on a, at the lounge right around the corner, or the Some at the spot next door, mm-hmm. or the or in there. It was freer. It I was. Got, where did I go uh, on hate? It was called the vapor room. Vapor that was like room. the first lounge I've I ever been to remember. the vapor room. Yeah, that's the vapor room was that's what one. I'm talking about. They had like about. volcanoes. They would let you use. Yes, oh, exactly shit. there. Yeah, that place was sick. I was a member like 4,000 of the Green Door, which is like, I'm sure in the fucking millions now. <laughs> yeah. I remember yeah. the Green Door, dude. The Green Door. 4,000. Yeah, 4,400. Harborside. Harborside. Yeah, Harborside was good, but like, actually, Harborside was super overrated. They look good. They, they looked good they and they were cool, but like, you really go to good. their weed, like, that wasn't, <laughs> there was like a few places that were like known for like just fucking fire and the green door was like one of them yeah it was and then there was a club here in sac called floor and wellness oh yeah that dude they had the fire bro yeah. you couldn't get better weed than like floor and ogs back in like 2009 2010 right. is that still around i think so but is that the, i think they turn into now. like lemonade yeah is that the one yeah yeah lemonade it, south sac colas oh Cola. it, it, Cola. same thing colas lemonade it's same shit same. yeah yeah same shit, different fucking pig on a lipstick <laughs> or a pig or whatever, right. dude. It's all the lipstick same. Lipstick on a pig or something, dude. Yeah. Yeah, some shit. But fuck it. I mean, I don't know. They might have good weed. I don't think so, but they yeah, could. Fuck it. I don't think they carry us. I don't know. No, they don't. I haven't been in there. So That's interesting. That's probably just like inter-city beef or something. <laughs> it might be. Yeah. I heard that sometimes like, even, but no, I think even <clears throat> brands that they know, too, it's just like. I don't know. Maybe they're too busy. Or I something. did try and get it. We tried to do. They own the cookie store in Sac. Oh, okay. Here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And we're in there, and we were trying to do oh, like yeah, an in store. Right. And the guy was like, "Well, we have to be like a marketing partner with you to do in store here." I was like, "Okay." We didn't really want to do it. Like the cookies enterprises just asked us to do them, so we yeah. were like, "Sac's our hometown." So if we're gonna do them anywhere, any cookie store, we're gonna do that for sure. Right. Um, yeah. But yeah, they never got back to us on it. They, I guess they didn't want us to do it. Oh, fuck. That would be dope. I yeah, think that it was really exciting. I was going to have like Doja Pack come out and like the other sack homies that oh, are like from here. You dope, know? Yeah. Dude. Because the thing nice is. Nice local showing. Yeah. Yeah. Especially when I saw that they were carrying Alien Labs too. I thought that was super dope. I was like, man, this is kind of Yeah, cool. that was cool. Yeah. I was glad to do that. But yeah, they didn't. It's kind of like just. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's a product happen. to them Who or knows? something. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. That's very cool. Shit gets crazy, supposedly. Yeah. Yeah. For sure, you just dude. keep chomping on these high chews over life here. Does change, oh, I mean. man. Yeah, I fucking wild. It's crazy because like well, they never, yeah, we weren't allowed to be in the cookie stores for hella long, and then they're like, oh well, you know, you guys can. It's like good, yeah, good job, man. Yeah, you know, we fucking we settled it. Yeah, you know, like there's no reason to keep like everybody's got to work alive. together. I don't even yeah, yeah, work sure. together. That's all I make either, money. Man. And it's too, I'm too old for that. That's why I went yeah. vegan. Just oh, plug in nice. my vegan. Go vegan, if you want. Right. I know a couple of my homies went vegan. They are, they're back to eating meat. Really? They were vegan for a while, too. It's no like, way. How yeah. long were they vegan for? 
I'll have to ask, but one of my boys specifically fucking, uh, he is, he was really pushing the veganism too. And I was like, you need meat again? He's like, yeah, I like, no. knew it. Oh, well, How you long have you been? Uh, like a year and four months now. Oh, that's pretty good. So, well, now that's, after hearing yeah, that, long, I'm going to think I'm going to wake up one day, like, you know, like, have uh, a head head injury, start playing the piano and want to eat a big steak. Right. Boom. Yeah. You know what I mean? One day. Do you cool think your though. body would go in like a little shock if Fuck you yeah. just eat I'll meat I'll tell you what, quick, there have right? been a couple instances where I've gone to Taco Bell, they fucked up and put some cheese in that burrito Ooh. that they weren't supposed oh, you're vegan. to. It, Oh, all the way through. I yeah, do. Okay. Yeah, I could. Yeah. So if I, I don't do no cheese, no, no dairy, dairy, anything like yeah. that. And one time, like, I just didn't see the cheese until it was too late. Like, yeah. I already had taken a bite and swallowed it. And that <laughs> fucked me up for probably about six or seven hours. I just the like cheese just bubble I, And I loved, yeah, I just, used to eat cheese, like, extra cheese. I'll. Put a quesadilla, dip it Inside in cheese. The quesaritos from Chipotle. <laughs> yeah. I would fuck with that. So it's hard for me not to eat cheese. That's funny I miss shit, it. Dude. I miss so cheese. Three, uh, I mean, six hour, like, bubble gut heavy? Mm, it was pretty bad. It was, uh, you know, not even so much. Taco Bell like, will do that to you regardless of if you don't It's true. Cheese. So imagine, so, then you just yeah. throw some dairy in there. and It was more cramping, I feel yeah. like. Felt like I was getting a six pack chiseled. Right, like, yeah. right. You just worked out. Yeah. You just did abs. That wasn't day. the worst thing in the world. Maybe I'll give it another try. Right. Just yeah, kidding. Mm -hmm. Not just kidding, but yeah. <laughs> Teach his own, man. Okay, so back to where we were at. Um, we were at uh, All About mm -hmm. Wellness. Worked your way up there. Went back to Reading. We're working at a sh managing a shop there. Back right. to SAC? Uh, yeah. 2017. Back to SAC in 2017 because mm -hmm. weed went legal where we were. That's like when we were making Alien Labs, you know. Yeah. 2014, 2017. Then weed went legal and where in Reading there wasn't a. Uh, it was banned, so we didn't think they were gonna open up. So we went to went came here to SAC to try and get a license. That was the first place to open a license. We knew what we wanted to be, you know. Yeah. So there wasn't a license program there. We came here, and, or I did, just me with my girl, right. um, and tried to get something going. And we did with Connected. That's that was like crazy. that story that I told earlier was like during that time. But then we became good friends with them, and they loved our weed. So when we didn't have any pathway to be licensed, they fucking gave us our, one of their old spots. It was pretty, pretty wow. dope. They That's definitely pretty dope, man. Yeah. We didn't have shit, so. Oh, shout out, shout here. out to Connected, yeah, man. For sure. Shout out to Connected. That's great. Good for you, man. That, that's fucking. That's a good time. And okay. now, now here we are, you know, fucking. Several platinum plaques deep. You know. Mm. There you go. And more to well, come. You're yeah, fucking. Sure. You're really tearing up the the, the Sacramento Wii game real nice, bro. You're really hyping it, and it and it's it's showing with the quality of your bud that you're putting behind that as well. Appreciate it. Um, I went to All About Wellness one time, and I asked one of the bud tenders, "What well, you know? What's good?" And he's he pulled yours, and he, he did not only tell me about the bud, he told me a little bit more. Like these guys care about their grow, dude. They're always on their shit. That you always expect a good. Um, he he pretty much pitched it for you guys, yeah. man. Uh, I'll let you know uh, that's that was Mike and it was pretty dope. Uh, he saw me on it, man. And uh, yeah, fuck with those dudes at all about wellness, man. Yeah, yeah, you know, I just that's what we and I hope everyone knows. Like, we just never. I ne that that's the point. Like, so those guys, they can. Like he's probably interacted with me. He he's he pretty much told me there's heart behind it and there's yeah. culture behind it. There's yeah, for that's the what culture. We, that's everything that we try for to for the do. people by the people, you know what I mean? That's cool. So yeah. you get a chance to see a lot of the bud tenders? Uh more so before COVID, we would do yeah. like bud tender parties a lot. <laughs> that's so cool. They that's could that's all really come cool. and smoke with us and um but now mm. that COVID's over, we're gonna start those up again for sure. Well, you guys have like full blown <clears throat> dab bars. Yeah, dab bar and we have our friends from Loaded. Uh, come out and do a joint rolling yeah. or blunt rolling oh, yeah. bar. So you could bring nice. whatever you want. They had weed and like you could bring a blunt and they'd roll it for you if you want. Sick ass fucking blunts. Oh, and then cool. like, yeah, it was sick. Good food. We had like this candy bar at, in Oakland that was sick. Damn. Sounds like a candy, candy bar. bar. Shit, sorry. Yeah, like a candy bar where there's like hella different candy and you just like oh, put it all in a bag and take it home. Yeah, <laughs> Eat it. yeah it was sick. 
Damn. Very cool. Very, and that's that just to party. just to yeah, give sure. back to the bud tenders. Just to yeah, because like those are and just to interact with them. Like I want to know about. I want to pick their brains and shit. They're front line. Yeah. Yeah. That's so and just like dude, they sell our shit all the time. Like that's we just just to give back. Yeah. They all got to come and we did it hell late. Even though I hate being up late. Right. We do it like start at like ten thirty, go to like two, because they all were working. Yeah, they worked till late. Yeah. So we'd be like, all right, after this, yeah, we had like two hundred fifty people come to fucking Damn. like. We definitely fill max capacity at every venue that we get. Holy like shit. full the amount of, most people you can come, they come. No, I don't sure. blame them. I and mean, people are hitting badass. us up like, hey, how can I fucking get in? Like, what can I do? Me and my friends, we're like, nah, man, you can't come. Damn, max capacity. Yeah. Well, even that, it's just like, bro, if you're not really a butt tender, you can't come. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. So people yeah. not oh, yeah, people yeah, want to come. Sure. Just, no course. matter what, they just want to yeah, come. Yeah, I don't blame know? them. I kinda, Especially I once people start posting it, it's like, Same. oh, shit, what the fuck? Yeah, fucking cracking. Yeah, oh, yeah. it's so cracking. Dude, you can't even walk in these things. So you got to verify that you're a butt tender. Yeah, you have to bring your badge. You no nice. shit. Yeah. Oh, that makes it easy. Yeah, for sure. That does. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so we'll be having those again. We're going to do some at Crest Theater here in Sac, or it'll be like, like a movie uh tell us about that because i saw the little posters um that just went up they're actually big posters of the biscontent yeah we just did like a cool like fucking we're we're from sac and like we have a lot of love for this town and like no one i mean i'm from reading but like i my daughter's growing up here like i've Mm -hmm. fucking made my business here bought my first house here like i consider myself like from here now um even though i'm from reading uh that is no one there's no cool shit here you know and just because people don't i don't know there's something about like towns Mm -hmm. like this where like it's like more of a stepping stone than it is like a final destination right right it's like if you were going to do something cool you'd probably and you were from sac you'd probably go to la yeah and probably because of the proximity i hope we could change that type of culture yeah, for and, sure. And and start like really doing cool. So that's shit what we're here. trying to do. Just like I think there is cool shit, and pe- and people are doing big things. Um, but we can have more. We yeah, can there's have like a lot locally more. cool shit. Yeah, but I mean like on like a national level, like right? a worldwide right. fucking right. level, dude. You right. know, like we're trying to put Sacramento like on the map for weed. Yeah, I, like I, at I, a worldwide fucking level, dude. That would be dope. How do you do that? I don't know. Just make sick funny. products and good content. Go the whole world. Yeah. yeah, bro. Imagine what? How much is weed gonna be when it fucking opens up interstate commerce? Oh yeah, I can't even imagine. I, I don't know how much is a pound of fucking Alien Labs weed gonna go for. <laughs> I don't know. That's I have a no good clue. Question, but dude. insane a fucking amounts it's, of money. No, dude. it's gonna be unfathomable. Unfathomable. If if it yeah. ever opens up worldwide, especially, bro. Yeah. Oh no, worldwide. <laughs> Just, but this the United States. Like you think these little fucking dudes from. Wherever you aren't gonna pay the fucking no. two hundred bucks an eighth all the way up. No, they're already paying one hundred fifty all the way up in New yep. York. Yeah, uh, no questions asked. It's happening. No questions asked. Dude. Yeah, oh, you get access eighth. to Calif- real California weed. Yep, two hundred fifty bucks. Done deal, eighth, dude. Yeah, wow. there's nothing like getting a real jar of Alien Labs, uncracked, oh, dude. sealed in New York. Fuck. And you crack it open, knowing it just came from Cali. That's oh, fire. And you just, you, that's like the best. I mean. It's insane, bro. That's mm-hmm. awesome. That's a good feeling. But who knows what's going to happen with that? But I mean, just like, that's what I mean when it's like that legal shit. It's like, you can't build what we're building. You just can't build it like that. You know, yeah. or I mean, it's once in a lifetime, not just us, but like the few people right now that are like really taking part in cannabis brands at like a super high level. Yeah. Right. They'll, that's going to be the Coca Cola's. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah. The Budweiser's. The Pepsi's, the fucking whatever. Yeah. The, the Coors is yeah it's shaping now it's yeah coming. we get to shaping be involved right in that now. that's crazy yeah i think cookies is going at it right now yeah for sure jungle boys is doing their thing mm-hmm. um there, there's there's a few out there man that they're doing their thing and who knows let's see, they're all, see i want to see this you know, in 10 years where's everybody gonna be you know that goes back to what i was saying though those are inclusive those those little environments like they're not really actually doing that right. if you right. think about it you know what I mean? Doing what? Doing Trying what? to be, like, when I think of Budweiser and when I, like, relate to Coors and shit, it's because I can go to a 7-Eleven right now and buy it. that shit. Yeah. Yep. Pepsi, Coke, you can get it anywhere. Right. Who's going to go to somewhere where it's its own store? Mm-hmm. Oh, I got to go to that store to get this? Fucking not doing it. 
Right. People are lazy as shit. Yeah. You know, Guaranteed. so what I so when I say I don't think they're going for that, it's because like there there's it's just different. To That's them, a different strategy. Right. You're you're right actually because you know they only are at what? How many? Like cookies 10, has 10, like 15, ten stores, location. and Jungle Boys have yeah. like two. Right. So you're right. They're more craft and exclusive than anything. Yeah. So it's more like like yeah. Sierra Nevada. I mean, no, that's not probably the right comparison because like the weed isn't. But I I just mean the access. Like I don't mean the, you'd have to go to a grocery store rather than like or, a liquor store. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. So it's know. like it's it's far away from a like being a you know it's, brand that everyone can it's buy almost like for, a winery it's mostly available at the wine or the yeah brewery, it's brewery, or, brewery that's what brewery. i was thinking yeah. it's more, yeah. that's why yeah. i said it's like more like sierra available. nevada but yeah, yeah that makes sense they can kind of buy it at some other places you know mm-hmm. they're they're going for just something different that's like and i think that's pretty cool i like, think so too you know more, i dude the yeah. more of us in from the weed industry that are making big strides and making yeah. money let's do it Everybody. I think it's just good, la- like, you know, everybody's got their own kind of lane that they like to yeah. be into, you know? For sure. Like, if that that might work for them. I think it works. I think as a strategy, like, it's cool. But it's yeah. just, like, not the access model. It's, like, I just want definitely yeah to create the best, same product, and you can go get it no matter where you're at. Yeah. If there's right. a weed store near you. You know what I mean? And that's, that's, like, the industry. Like, creating your own, like, I th- even, like, the... um the direct to consumer a lot of people are starting to do direct to consumer shit it's like yeah. that's cool but it's like a step mm-hmm. you know like i want to create access for everyone of high quality weed anytime Everywhere, not just like yeah. oh i gotta go to fucking i gotta drive 10 miles that way to get it yes. or i gotta fly into california yep. on my vacation there because that's it. what I, what i'm saying is that's how that works as this is the california shit you know mm-hmm. what i mean like because that's the weed like if you can only get it in california that's cool but like what if when the interstate commerce comes out yeah you're gonna like you know you're gonna want to sell your weed to hell of places and then it's just gonna be at your store i mean that's cool whatever way it works i guess in florida that's all you can do sell it uh at your your own own store grow it yourself sell it yourself interesting which might be a little bit i mean i definitely know it's better for the bottom line of companies yeah you know you make way more money yeah if you can be vertically integrated yeah that, but it's yeah. just like cool to, to me it's just cool to have access i think that's just like what cannabis has always been about and like being able to go get the fire whenever yeah whenever. that's like the ideal world for me will that right. be possible i mean to scale obviously you guys have know. a very we have a lot but not that much that's what i mean you yeah. guys have like a very special flower from what i can tell it's not very easily scalable especially if you're not doing it yourself mm-hmm. more right. replicable if you're doing it but if you try and get someone to white label your shit like contract grow doesn't work yeah people i mean especially at our level of like cannabis it's definitely like you know hard to grow this good of weed right with what relatively small things you can use for pests and you know pathogens and shit because they don't oh, really yeah. let you use shit no and uh so just having that knowledge beforehand like big ad guys think they can come in here and grow weed but they're not they're finding out they can't yeah <laughs> you know there's guys with like phds yeah and, uh, we got a nerd on our team that like is super good at growing now um and he he always has been he comes from like um strawberries mm. but he just came and he was like damn this plant is hella different Like, you know, he was just very humble about it. Like, I'm not, this is crazy. Like, I didn't realize that all, you know, because I I think they teach you that, like, plants are all pretty much the same. Right. (laughs) Like, you do all the same (laughs) shit to them. You can do different things, but, like, for the most part, like, you can't just feed the same shit every plant at, or, like, you can't just do the same things and, like, replicate it everywhere. It's weird. I don't know. You know, cannabis is different. Like that. how um how how big is your grows now? Uh, we don't have very many. We have like 180 lights right now. Nice. So you just keep it nice and tight. Yeah, we should have more, but that's we're cool. expanding. Connected between, like connected and alien light. I mean, that's really just like the footprint. Connected has a bigger footprint than that, but like that's all we really occupy of that. Yeah. Um. So you're, you're we're expanding. keeping it really, really quality. You're keeping it high, high quality. Yeah, we try to, man. It's hard. Yeah. You know, especially just. We've been in the game for a long time, dude. 
you've seen a lot of brands <laughs> come and go, dude, and and yeah. their quality go up and down, and you know we maintained pretty well. Stay I will say, consistent. yeah. I mean, dude, quality I, is so subjective. I saw like, that you were saying that you had to scrap a few batches before you got to yeah, this the batch. Bisconte, yeah. yeah, just growing weird, man. That happens, huh? I just had like humidity issues in the rooms and shit, and they just yeah. weren't coming out. It was like kind of coming out smelling just like melonade, uh -huh. which is just like environmental things. You know, phenos are an expression of a plant in like a given environment. Right. So like just even, you know, room to room in your facility yeah, will be different. And it was just like a little more airy and just wasn't really what I wanted. So then we, it smells uh, unreal. Then I mean, know, this one was fire. I was then like, you know this it. one is unreal. Not to come out at least. That's awesome, you know? man. And you, uh, and you do the moly. breedings and stuff? Uh, I mean, I don't personally by hand, but like I come up with, uh, you know, what we should cross and shit. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. That is amazing. That's a good job, dude. Smells as good as it tastes. That's for sure. Yeah, the and taste so, is great. Yeah, tell us, tell, tell us what it's all crossed with, and and um, what, he's, sorry, sorry. <laughs> it's all good. But yeah, tell us what it's uh, uh what it's crossed with, and and how you got there. Uh, it's melonade and biscotti. That's the number six. Okay. And it's just a real obvious pairing, you know. Right. We didn't have anything really in that lemon kind of turt profile area. Yeah. So we wanted to find something with that. We had melonade, but, you know, that kind of – it lacked things that I wanted. It was a little too lemony, too. Like, I like lemon to a point, you know? Right. right. That, like, has some lemon to it, but it's more like a gassy kind of strain. That funky gas. It's fire. It's really good. I'm fucking lit, bro. Oh, shit. It was a good, good few it's... joints, blunts there. It was awesome. No, it's delicious. It's really good weed, man. So what is your go-to? Are you like a flower? Are you? Uh... I smoke mostly rosin. Oh, rosin. Okay, Yeah, cool. I like flower. I smoke it, but yeah. I just think it's more efficient. Okay. You know, you take one, you're get done with the joint or a blunt. You got to roll it. You got to grind it, roll it, all that shit, smoke I it. I love True. that. this like ceremonial for yeah, me. Yeah, I mean, it, with time. But, bro, like, I don't have the time to sit down and have a ceremony every day. Right. <laughs> yeah. I wish a few I times did. a day. Yeah, or yeah. a few times a day. You know, I yeah. wish I did, but, like, I just, that's not the reality of the situation I'm in. So, so you yeah. hit the, the Puffco. Bringing the Puffco and just, quick. I have tons of dab rigs at home. Like, I, t I call them real dabs. Like, you can take a Puffco dab, but I'll ask my girl, like, do you want a real dab? Or I did anyway when she wasn't pregnant. Uh, <laughs> That's you want cool. a real dab? You know, because, like, the real dab just gets you high, man. Oh, to, yeah. And this is smoke volume. It. Like, Puffco can get you super high and nice, <clears throat> but the smoke volume on the on the real rig is just, like, hard to beat. Yeah. Damn. That's cool. Well, we want to know what's, um, what's coming up for Alien Labs. What can we expect? Anything to hype up? Anything to, to let... Our, you know, everybody. No, man, nothing. We dropped the Bisconte. Um, we got Planet Milk coming out soon. That's Ooh, a pretty cool one. Okay. Milky Way, Planet Dosi, Um, which maybe uh, will yeah, I think it'll come out in like December. Nice. Okay. And you're doing the, the, the show or the stadium party? Yeah. Oh, no, there is no. That was just like for the – promotional materials but we are going to be working with the crest to do like movie nights out at the crest nice so you can come through and uh smoke some fucking smoke, smoke some, some hooters in there and watch something that we picked out eat some snacks are there going to be a lot of those events like nights or we hope so you know we're working it out with them now so hopefully we can do like a few a month or weekly during the summer oh yeah everyone want to i mean it'll be oh, sick it's gonna be we are gonna so play like sick. terminator 2 a nice in, cozy Akira, place to get you know, high like and that. watch a movie yeah, with a sure. bunch of different people oh hell yeah i think it you get a lot of people coming through. Yeah, people are stoked to do shit, especially go to the movies, man. I miss going to the movies a lot. Yeah. Well, and then in coronavirus, that was like my thing. I was like, "Fuck, bro, I just want to go to the movies, <laughs> kick back." And, and then, then they came back for a little bit, and you could fucking rent the theater. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. right. And now they're taking that away. Oh, and then shit. Now I never want to go to the movie theater with other people again. Yeah. After yeah. doing that. Too yeah. sick, dude. No, I was just Why ripping my fucking balls. <laughs> yeah. I, I brought it my was too easy. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's oh, awesome, sick, dude. dude. That's the, why private, the movie sick. theater rental 
And in Cinemark, you could uh, rent it for like two hours at a time to play video games. No No way. On the screen? On the screen, dude. They're making They didn't let you do internet shit, though. So I was like, bro, if that was, if you could do COD on that with the, I would have spent my whole summer there. Oh, yeah. I would have been there. My family would have been like, where the fuck (laughs) are you? Where you at? You could bring three other friends with you Yeah, that would still be fun. You could play like fours, you know, Mario Kart, fucking Blitz. A lot. N64 shit. You can play a ton of shit. Blitz rules. But we're gonna um we're gonna wrap it up, man. Oh yeah. Ted, thank you so much for yeah, coming man, thank through. You we so much. Yeah, really no appreciate it. Appreciate you. Um me. we can't wait for the dope shit that you're gonna be producing year after year after year. And I know that your brand will be a long term brand because you put the heart behind it, man. Thanks, man. And we appreciate, appreciate yeah, no it. Doubt. And uh Alex? Yeah, man, thanks. This is oh, yeah, I had awesome. a great time. Dope, dope, dope fire and uh you know, you're welcome back anytime. Thank yeah, you. We're gonna do it again. Oh yeah. We Sounds will. good. Cool. Uh, hey, shout out to uh, Ro and Dev. Thank you guys. Behind the behind scenes. Thanks, guys. We appreciate you, you guys. Go. Yeah. Have shout a good night, preferred guys. Preferred Gardens. Yeah. Yes. Preferred oh, yeah. Gardens. Alien Labs. Preferred Gardens. Calibus. Calibus. Bringing it to you guys, man. Killing it. We Cal-Yak appreciate tracks. you guys watching, <coughs> liking, subscribing. Um, always bringing you the dope shit, man. Rotation. Out. Out, guys.